ஹலோ அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு பியூர் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்சஸ் ஆன்லைன் சத்சங் திஸ் ஆன்லைன் மீட்டிங் இஸ் அன் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி ஃபார் ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ் டு மீட் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஸ் த ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் மேட்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஆன்சர் சம் ஆஃப் யுர் கொஷன்ஸ் கிளியர் யூர் டவுட்ஸ் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஸ் வாட் எவர் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபார் யூ இஷ்யூஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு யுவர் ப்ராக்டிசஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் அண்ட் வி ஆல்சோ டிஸ்கஸ் த ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் ஆஃப் த ப்ரோக்ராம் ஹியர் ஸோ இஃப் எனிபடி ஹேஸ் எனி கொஷின் most welcome to write it, write it down or they can say it if they want to say it but they be saying after realization some people go back in the world and some stay in aloneness does such choices happen as per the nature of body ego structure what is the criteria to make this choice you see there is nobody to make a choice first of all it happens if there is unfinished business or there are you know like we say desires pending desires then they go back in the world and uh, the rest they withdraw from the world because there is nothing more to do and whatever can be done if it can be done while staying out of the world they do it as soon as your desires they start disappearing you will find that you are withdrawing from the world it is very natural which does not mean that you live in a jungle somewhere it means that you are in the city but totally disinterested in worldly affairs and people don't want them and you are busy doing something which you like which is mostly of spiritual uh, nature so it totally depends on the mountain of desires the place the actual place where you live is not so important it happens in the mind nature our nature decides whether we are interested in the world or not not the place see i'll recommend to choose a place which is comfortable comfortable Satya is saying, what about the family? We give home remedies to family members. Yes, no problem. You can do. You know, do whatever it takes to cure the disease. If it does not go up, no, no issues then. You see, you need to man, go through it. And you are suffering your own uh, karmic baggage there. So, no problem. But you keep trying to remedy it. and if it does not go away and you are a spiritual practitioner go to your guru probably the guru will find out the real cause that you need to forgive this and that person and that you know that is why there are so many people who are looking for the past life experiences let me find out what happened with me because i have this disease or you know i have this um relationship problem or something they want to know but uh, it is possible to fix it without knowing too much about your past so we keep trying we try to keep the fix the karmic issues also there is no harm in that if it is done nicely if it is resolved untangled no problem what is the problem that uh, do not make it more tangled do not make it more complicated using these same practices you see Mary is asking how desires can disappear naturally however desires are the force of life just like i say most of the time you see there are three ways to handle the desires you fulfill them you suppress them or you become aware of them let them come and go desires are always fulfilled naturally only there is no artificial way to fulfill them you see if the desire is there and the means to satisfy the desire are there there and then it simply happens and then we say okay the desire was fulfilled naturally what happens is uh, the ego is not satisfied with this natural mechanism <laughs> whatever appears in the mind it must fulfill that and that makes its life hell then it runs after it no we cannot do that we can do some effort yes without effort you see i call it the symbolic effort you should do some effort so but if the effort is failing again and again it stop it it's time to fulfill some other desire it's not happening naturally so that does not mean that it was suppressed it means it was seen and then you let go of the desire it will it will be fulfilled but not now it is almost certain 100% certain that the desire has appeared so it will be fulfilled but not now when nobody knows so you fulfill that for which you are equipped you do that which is available you do the next thing which appears and do not acquire more desires first let go of uh, first fulfill the old ones 
finish off only if it is very necessary you should take up something new otherwise not let go the desire appears that look my neighbor is doing this thing i should also do that thing no there is no need there is no need what your neighbor is doing is a neighbor's business it's not your don't take that karma on you you look at your own desires look at your own life goal and satisfy them first so sometimes these desires are imposed by your family or your society like you are a good singer you want to become a singer and then your family says parents say that no you need to become a doctor or mba whatever it is you see then <laughs> why because more money there they want money i don't know they want money or they they are afraid of being poor or something so and these desires are imposed on you you should become this you should do this you should achieve this and the innocent child has no ability no discernment no vivek simply takes it then you can see his life is now suffering only because he has taken somebody else's job not his own so this concept is very well explained by krishna he says swadharma your own your own life goal is your is most important as soon as you take up something which is enforced on you which is given to you somebody else's your life will become suffering so i say it like this that do that which you love most and do that which is most needed there are people who keep asking this question you know what should i do with my life you know i have everything now but no satisfaction and all there is no satisfaction in your life because you're doing things which are imposed on you by the parents or the society it's, it it is not of you you're not born to do that once the survival is taken care of you should do that for which you're born explore that desire explore your desire and fulfill it you will find that that which is your desire you will be given all the means to fulfill it that which is not yours which is borrowed lot of problems will be there lot of problems look at all the failed marriages they are imposed on you the arranged marriages they are imposed on you they, are, they all fail this suffering only it was not your desire to spend your life with a stranger whom you do not like to become a machine for producing children that was not your desire when you appeared here in the world so it is kind of unfortunate that we have lost the swadharma we don't do that for which we are born and we are we are accumulating garbage here instead of uh, burning our karmic seeds by burning the karmic seeds i mean fulfilling the desires and they are not much we are not born with much there there are two or three things in the human life is enough to complete them but then we get entangled here we take more than we bought brought here we carry more we do we do the shopping desire shopping here when we go back in the causal state much more is there now not less and so you will find your life is a burden now if you are not feeling light and you are not feeling free and happy that means you are accumulating you are not letting go so find your swadharma and teliki find it do some churning oh this is my desire i am born to do, do this and check whether you accumulated it from somebody or not you saw it on tv or what you read a book and got influenced then it is not yours it is an influence outside influence only do that which you like most which you absolutely love to do that is your goal that is your life goal so for a spiritual seeker it is very easy you see <laughs> they are born with a little bit of awareness they know exactly what to do like i remember about myself i probably i did not know what to do but i knew what not to do that was crystal clear in my mind even when i was a child so spiritual seekers have this advantage over the ordinary people that we know what to do or at least we know what not to do we seek seek we find guru and then we find our goal with what that is what i call the path of your heart and for a spiritual seeker it is the spiritual path how do you know that you are on the right path your freedom and happiness will go on increasing 
If what is increasing is your bondage and suffering, no, 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 something is really wrong. So probably I said too much about this. Amit is saying, why I realize people often anecdotally at least appear to suffer physically towards the end of their lives. Evolutionary speaking, they are at the epitome of their accent. So they should have few karmic debts pending. And he has given some example. So yes, you see, you are in a human body. What is the reason? There is some issue there. There is some something which you must return. So diseases, they are your ticket out of the human world. You see, whatever you call the terminal diseases, which kill. You see, I'm not talking about the cold and cough and a little bit of fever here. No. Or the accident, you know, breaking of bones or cuts and injuries. No, no, no. I'm not saying they are the, they are because they are the tickets. No. And the terminal things which, which happen in the old age when you have lived your life completely. They are our tickets out of the world, out of the sansar. So it will happen to every human body. Why there is some, sometimes it is horrible. Because they hold on to the body. They hold on to the body. I know ordinary person, ordinary people, they hold on to the body. They don't want to let go of it. Keep treating it. Even if they know that I'm going to die. Okay, six more months. I'm going to spend six millions, you know, to get that six months. Useless. And now it, it is um, kind of surprising that even these uh, great masters, they are holding on to the body. And I think the only reason is that they want to serve more. Like they can drop the body today also. But they keep going in spite of the disease that has appeared in the body. The disease is nothing. It's natural, you know, decay of the body. Old age is a disease itself, they say. But uh, is, the body is breaking down, so it will cause problems. So at that point, they can let go of it. Okay, they will say that the body is, you know, kind of um, expiry date. It has crossed the expiry date. So, but they keep going. Why? Because they say that, okay, I live for five years. I can serve 500 more people. I can enlighten 500 more. And they keep going till it becomes so much that they, they cannot work. Probably, probably that is the um, reason. Because I know I, I will never do that. <laughs> it's, not, it's not worth but these people are saintly people and sometimes they have uh, the order from the above. Like if I get an order from the above, no, you cannot go now. No, sir, I had this body is a problem. And they, and they will say, okay, we'll fix the body, but you stay there. Then at, at some point they will say, no, we cannot fix the body now, but you stay there for two more years. And, <laughs> you know, it, it, it is sometimes like a mission to stay here. Sometimes it's a mission to come back here. That is what I call the bodhisattva tendencies. So we can explain these things like this. Or it can be in a complete, completely the opposite. That, the, that whomever you thought is a very realized master has some ignorance there, has some attachment. Or the old age has taken away the awareness because it was cultivated um, in an artificial way. It was forced through the practices. Now the pranic energy has moved and they are back in total darkness. Now they are clinging to the body. It can happen. It can happen on any path. That can happen on um, the path of knowledge also. That is why I don't give you any instruments to keep up the awareness. The only instrument that you have is your own mind. That's what I say. Keep up the awareness and these things will never happen. Okay. So out of probably thousand enlightened masters, you know, 10 or 20 have died like this horrible death. Who cares? Most of them, they lived happily and they died whenever their, their, the time was right. Some of them have knowingly done that. Okay, Ryan is saying, can the desires play out in the dreams unceasingly during sleep to fully extinguish desires? Because I am constantly dreaming vividly of things I have always wanted to do a long time ago. And now I get very little deep sleep. According to my fit bit watch reports, I just want to know if my dreams will stop being so interruptive to my sleep when my desires are fulfilled. Well, if you are not suffering a lack of sleep, 
if your body is healthy and fit then you need not interfere in what is happening because dreams are a way to fulfill okay is not suf- suffering okay okay yes the dreams are a way to fulfill the desire and when they find you find some awareness there then you will find the increase the dreams are more probably some some people have opposite effect the dreams reduce but if there are desires then yes the mind finds finds a way to express them keep ex- keeps expressing them so if you do it with full awareness in the dream probably it will go away probably it will be extinguished and don't worry it's not going to stay forever it's a phase it will come and go so the only time you need to worry is that uh, your health is going down because uh, all the time you are doing something instead of sleeping you see dream means you are sleeping isn't it dream means that the body is in a state of rest if you are woken up too much during dreaming what has happened is you have a problem with letting go your mind is alarmed every time you become aware in the dream your mind is alarmed oh what is happening what is happening and breaks the sleep now if that is happening then there is a solution for that let go reprogram your mind that, oh everything is okay here there is no need to be alarmed here in the dream i got up in the dream now i need to get up i need to get out of this dream world don't do that accept the dream world you know engage in that forget the body here it's is peacefully sleeping don't interrupt the sleep probably there is a little bit of anxiety probably it is very new experience for you so is alarming situation for the mind and it looks like i am not sleeping it looks like light sleep but um, and and if if it extends your sleeping time by one or two hour no problem is it no problem the mind adapts to the new situation and then it will become normal so that is my suggestion for ryan that uh, let go let go uh, become normal accept the dream state is happening again you say and uh, the wish fulfillment the desire fulfillment will continue in the dream that is what is happening anyway now it will happen in complete awareness so if you find that your desires are decreasing in the waking state that means it is working if you find that no they, and the, all the desires are as strong as they are in the waking state then you should inform me Ryan is saying I am becoming more and more aware each night because the memory bridge is getting stronger. Yes, hopefully that is a good thing for you. And this this is the uh, yes, it is just new. <laughs> it is the fruit of your practices. You see, probably you are doing the practices in the stage number four, and this is the consequence. This is the effect of these. So don't worry. You know. you will get used to the new state of the mind where it is aware continuously in the waking and dreaming if if it has negative impact then you need to tell me otherwise is good is nice you're progressing you need to um, check the warnings that i give in the videos check the warnings probably write them down you see become uh, aware of the warnings if if something like that is happening then you need to inform me otherwise it's very natural the memory bridge formation is very natural so uh, the mind does not really know that it is fulfilling the desires in the waking or dreaming because they become same the dream is as real as the waking so uh, you should see a decrease in the number of desires which means there will be more peace more happiness more bliss nothing to do in the waking state you see and then i recommend that if you find that i am not able to get a lot of sleep the mind is going to complain although it is sleeping you see all the body sleeps nicely because it's not like the old sleep is going to say no no there is no sleep and you try it try sleeping in the daytime take out one or two hours in the daytime sleep in the daytime after your lunch or something where in the downtime when you don't want to work sleep for a while that is the solution so rahani is saying it's funny because two months ago i was wanting this to happen very much now it's happening without me being aware very good very good i i i'll suggest that you keep going do not stop 
it was a nice satsang and i hope everybody enjoyed it everybody got their answers and hopefully you are enjoying the program also and i'll meet you next time thank you very much for att- attending the meeting